Right, so fixed headers, some people love them, some people don't, and some people have got no idea what I'm even on about. But me personally, I think the majority of headers on a website should be fixed. It gives the user a chance to check through all of the navigation items quickly and easily, no matter where they are on the page. And I think it just looks really good, to be honest. That said, I actually, on my own website, I don't have a fixed header, but that just goes to show every single case is individual. Now it's a really simple toggle when we want to fix a header on Squarespace. So I'm going to hop on over to the screen and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in less than a minute. Okay, so I said I'd do it in less than a minute. Let's see if I can do it without waffling. So you start in your dashboard. Then we go to edit. Then we want to click on header. Then we want to just move this. We want to click fixed position. And you can either pick basic or scroll back. So basic, if we toggle done we'll simply keep it in line like so and that will stay constantly and scroll back will basically show the header when we start scrolling back up so you see it goes and then when we scroll back up it scrolls back and stays as we scroll back hence scroll back okay so i'm probably going to go over a minute but that's the basic gist of how you do it now what i'm going to show you are a few bonus features by clicking on here and then going to style. So what style allows us to do is pick a few different things. Dynamic allows us to have a full bleed image, video or art background in the background. So what I'm going to do is show you an example of this first. If I go into background and add an image, free image, and let's just put this in the back. This will be full bleed. Let's make it a bit more vibrant by turning down the opacity. And then let's go back to our header and we'll make it a fixed style basic. Now when we save, you can see, okay, we've got this full bleed image. And then when we scroll, it goes to black. So it's not a solid header. And then we've got theme, which allows us to pick from all of our color themes and put that color palette straight into the header. So we, you can see we can choose from all our different themes like so. Let's go with this. When we hit save, you can see now we haven't got a full bleed header, a uh, full bleed image. And that's okay for a lot of websites. People don't want a full bleed image. They just want a solid block of color here. So if that's something that you want to do, then go ahead and do that. We can also try gradient, which allows us to go from one color to another. So personally, I'm not a massive fan of this, but you can change the opacity. So how clear the uh, color is at the top. You can change the background color to your site's palette, or you can change it to, to a custom color. So click here and you can make it whatever color you want. You can also plug in the hex code down here. Then the navigation color, this is basically here. At the moment, I don't have a logo in, so that also takes in the site title. We can also blur the background. So you can see it's got like this frosted glass effect. Personally, I think that's even worse than this. And then you can also add a border if you wish. So borders can work well, depends where you put them. But yeah, you can choose that. You can choose the thickness and how you want to play that, basically. Then we've just got a standard solid header. So you can change the opacity, so whether it's you know see-through or not. You can change the background color. And this is completely independent from anything. Let's say um, you have this background color. That will be the background color across all pages. So let's just make it white, for instance. Nav color, let's make it red. And then we can blur the background if we wish. Make it slightly opaque. And then you can ch actually change the blur amount like this. I'm just going to go with 15. And then we can put a border. I think this is one of the worst looking headers I've ever done. But I'm just trying to demonstrate uh, how it can look. Then you can actually put a drop shadow underneath the header. So I used to code this in on a lot of sites. This wasn't a native feature. And Squarespace have obviously listened. Because I actually think this is a really handy feature. And it just adds just adds that something to a header. So let's say we've added this this drop down, this drop shadow. If I make it black, you can see when the header's fixed, you can actually see the drop down here or the drop shadow. But then when we scroll, it's really apparent when we go to different sections. And I, I think that works really well. Because it almost gives like a 3D effect to the header. 
and it helps differentiate it from um, what's beneath. I also do use borders in quite a lot of websites. I find that it's it's good to have that differentiation. If it's not a border or a shadow, then it's a colour. So oftentimes I'll have maybe a, a white header with a black background or vice versa. So there's loads and loads of things you can play around with here. And I know <laughs> I said it would be 60 seconds, but I just thought I'd give you a lot more additional value because I'm nice. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully now you understand how headers work, how to make them fixed and the options that are available to you. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources linked in the description below.